Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. Here, first of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions uh, according to the given information. Here, the information is about a survey of number of working and non-working women over the years. Here, the information is about survey. There is a survey of number of working women and non-working women over the years. Over the years in the sense from 96 to 2000. 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000. Here, the information is about how many working women are there and how many non-working women are there from the year 1996 to 2000. So, here the white portion is about working women and the dark portion is about non-working women. And if you observe carefully, here the values are not provided but uh, and scale is given. But the scale is given. If the value is in between the scale, then we can consider it as midpoint. Okay. Here if you observe carefully at this position, at this position in the year 2000, working woman is in between 70 and 80. So, you can take it as 75. Whereas, non-working woman which is in between 30 and 40 which is equal to 35. In between 30 and 40 which is equal to 35. In that way, we need to consider. Okay. Similarly, all these remaining values are uh, exactly the same line representation. Here it is 70 and uh, this one is 40 and next uh, here it is 40 again and then 70 and then here it is uh, 60 this is 50 and uh, here it is 60 this is 50 right all the values are round figures except the uh, last two last two values are in between one is in between 70 and 80 which is 75 and another one is between 30 and 40 that is uh, 35 and one more thing is all the values are given in terms of millions all the values are given in terms of millions that is also information useful information now according to that we need to solve the questions look at the first question what is the respect to ratio of working woman to the non-working woman in the year 1999 so, in the year 1999, we need to calculate the ratio of working woman to the non-working woman. Working woman to the non-working woman. Once look at 1999 year. In 1999, working women, working women are 70 millions, whereas non-working women, that is 40 millions. Therefore, the required ratio is... Uh, you can cancel two zeros, uh, uh, zero and zero at this position. You will get the ratio as seven is to four. Seven is to four is the required ratio of working women and non-working women in the year 1999. Seven is to four. That is the answer. Option D is the right answer for this question. Let us look at the second question. Here the second one is... Uh, in which year was the difference between was the difference between working and non-working women the highest? Here we need to calculate the difference between working and non-working women that is highest in which year. Here the value is 50. Here the value is 60. Here the value. Uh, first I will write here. 1996, 1997. 1998, 1999, and 2000. And next, uh, first we'll take working woman, and next we'll take a uh, non-working woman, working woman and non-working woman. Okay. See, 96 working woman, 50 millions non-working, 60. And next, uh, here we'll take uh, the difference. Difference is nothing but highest value minus lowest value. Here the difference is 10. 97. Here this value 60, this value is 50. Working woman 60, non-working woman 50. Difference 
10 again. Next, 98. Working woman, 70. Non-working woman, 40. Here it is 70 minus 40, which is equal to 30. As of now, highest is 98. As of now. So, you can eliminate these two. 96 and 97. These two you can eliminate. 96 and 97. And next, coming to 99. In 99, Working 70, non-working 40. So, this is 70, this is uh, 40. Here the difference is 30. These two values are same, right? Now, once look at the last one. Here it is uh, 75 and this is 35. 75 minus 35. 75 minus 35 which is equal to 40. 40 is the difference. So, you can eliminate these two as well. Difference is highest uh, at the last. Uh, so, you can eliminate 98 and uh, 99 as well. Therefore, difference is highest uh, in the year 2000. In the year 2000. So, many students are doing uh, the problem like this. But, don't do the problem in this manner. It is very easy to solve the problems uh, if you observe the diagram carefully. No need of writing these values as well. No need of writing. Here once look at uh, the difference. Difference is nothing but how much is the gap between working and non-working. Compare these two. Here only one cycle is the difference. One scale. Here one scale is the difference. Here three scales are different. Here three, square, three scales are different. And next coming to this case. Here... Four scales are different. How we are saying it is four scales? Because one, two, three. These are the three scales and a half scale at this position, half scale at the top. Total four scales. Therefore, difference is highest at the last year, 2000. No need of writing all the values and taking the difference between those two. In order to explain the values, I just write all these uh, values but in examination point of view time is very important uh, so always uh, go with the uh, observation if you observe the if you observe the given graph uh, carefully then the problem solving is very simple okay here the answer is option b in the year 2000 the difference is uh, highest next question the number of non-working women in the year 2000 was approximately what percent of total number of working as well as non-working women in that year? See, here we need to calculate the approximate percentage. Approximate percentage. That is equal to number of non-working women. Number of non-working women. Non-working women in the year 2000 that is what percent of working plus non-working working plus non-working in that year itself in that year is itself it means that uh, in 2000 only here we are talking about the year 2000 so whenever you are calculating percentage in 200 percentage symbol that is common thing now look at the values non-working women here it is uh, working. First one is working and second one is uh, non-working. Non-working in the year 2000 which is uh, 35. That is how much? 35. In between 30 and 40. Whereas working is uh, in between 70 and 80. So this value becomes uh, 75. Now the required approximate percentage is equal to non-working woman that is 35 divided by 35 plus working and non-working together 35 plus 75 into 100 percentage which is equal to 35 by 35 plus 75 which is 110 into 100 here 0 0 gets cancelled that is equal to 350 divided by 11 what is 350 divided by 11 here 11 3 0 11 3 is 33 next 20 20 means 31 
point something. Here we are getting the answer 31 point something. So approximately according to the options 22, 32, 40, 48 and 50. Approximate value is uh, obviously 32 percentage. 32 percentage is our required answer. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Next one. What is the respect ratio of number of working women in the year 96 to the number of uh, women working in the year 2000? Here we need to calculate the ratio of working women, working women in the year 1996 to the number of women working. Again, working women in the year 2000, in the year 2000. Now, look at the values. Working women in the year 1996. 1996 working women, which is 50, 50 millions, whereas working women in the year 2000, that is 75 millions. Take those values. One is 50, one is 75 millions. Now, you can cancel with 25 table. 25 2, sir. 25 3, sir. 75. Therefore, the required ratio is... 2 is to 3. Required ratio is 2 is to 3. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Last question in this session. If 30 percentage of non-working women started working later in the year 1996. We are talking about 1996. In the year 1996, first working women. Working women, working women, how many members? 50 millions. Working women, 50 millions. Okay. Whereas non working women, non working women, that is uh, 60 millions. That is 60 millions. Okay. Now, coming to the point here, if 30 percentage of non working women in this 60 millions, uh, 30 percentage. What is 30 percentage of this value? Once calculate that one. Two zeros and two zeros cancel. 30 percentage. Six threes are 18. 18 millions are start working. 18 millions of uh, non-working people are start working. It means uh, 18 millions are reduced from this uh, 60 millions. And that will be added to working women. That will be added to working women. 18 millions. Here, these 18 millions are additionally now they are working. Previously, they are not working. Now, they have started working in the year 1996. Now, the question is, what would be the total number of women working in that year? It, now, it is very simple. Here, working women. Working women. At present, working women at present, 50 millions plus 18 millions, which is equal to 68 millions. 68 millions. That is our answer. 68 millions. Here, 18 million of uh, non-working women are started working so that that particular 18 million will be added to the working employees, uh, working women. Here, working women initially in 1996, 50 million, uh, additionally 18 million added. So that the value becomes uh, 68 million. Uh, 68 million is the right answer. Option A is the right choice for this question. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. In the next session, I'll come up with uh, some more examples and uh, thank you. Thanks for watching.